East Coast Rep Rap Festival 2023, or is it 3D Printopia now? Day two, we're talking with the Hue Forge guys. You all have probably heard of Hue Forge, and if you haven't, you need to figure that one out. It is effectively allowing you, yes, you at home, with your single color 3D printer to do amazing multicolor work with just a lot of really cool math. We got some awesome people here from Hue Forge. Introduce yourself, tell the folks at home. Let's talk about Hue Forge for a bit. All right, I'm Steve. Um, I wrote Hue Forge. I wrote it originally to make color lithophanes, mm -hmm. then switched over to doing front lit when I figured out how the colors worked and how the blending worked. Basically uses that feature of filament that mostly annoys us that you can see other colors through yeah. your filament when you layer it. And it uses some math to say, hey, this is what it would look like based on how much light it lets through if you layered them in thin layers on top of each other in different heights right. and let you make art. Can and I grab a couple of these off yeah, the table? Yeah, absolutely. All right, this, it is a 3D print, guys, okay? This is just absolutely nuts. And literally from anything closer than a foot, you can obviously tell it's a print, but anything further away than a foot, it looks like it's a printed poster. Honestly, that's just pretty damn cool. You guys got really popular very quickly. How did that happen? Well, so the idea, as I said, I was starting to work with the color lithophanes, like the cat you see there. Yeah. And um, and I ran into Ian online and Ian was doing the opposite and he uh -huh. was doing it in his head in the slicer and it was taking him forever. <laughs> and I was at that point, I'd learned how to do the blending of colors well enough. I said, I think I can make my software, Hue Forge, do this. It wasn't called Hue Forge at the time. It took us about a week and we, we flipped some things around and we did some testing and we said, hey, this works. And I went back to the lithophanes and let him do the, the front lit. And then I, I made the chessboard and I got excited about what you could do with the front lit method. It's pretty cool. Yeah, what I call filament painting now. Um, because people didn't like it when I called it front lit lithophanes. Yeah, yeah, filament painting sounds better. <laughs> um, it's a marketing thing. Yeah, it's okay. a marketing, it's marketing thing. Marketing yeah. thing. So, uh, and then I just started experimenting with what more can be done, what more can be done, how much depth can we get in the in the image, how yeah. much uh, blending can we do, how thin can we go? And you know, a lot of people will tell you you can't go this thin on that nozzle, and it turns out that's not true. You know, we go down to zero four layer heights on 0.4 nozzles all the time. Nice. Uh, and uh, and just the community grew around it. I, I ended up getting attention of a couple people on Twitter, and then that kind of gave me a lot more attention. It did. And then uh, when I released, it just went crazy, and Polymaker's uh, coupon code really helped. That was the impetus for us supporting now, rather than waiting till we actually needed it. So Polymaker ran a coupon code that pretty much whatever money you spent with Hueforge, you got a coupon code for Polymaker for the same value. So effectively, the software was free. Right. Now, that means that Steven, you got your cash. Yep. And then Polymaker gave away a ton of filament, which is good because then people buy more Polymaker. It's a that was a really cool marketing thing. And I saw that I said, we need more things like this in the community because this is a big company that loves support creators, supporting a brand new person with a really unique idea. Because look, I've been in this industry for 15 years. I do full color 3D printing. It's not like this. It's on a $70,000 3D printer. Okay, weighs a thousand pounds, it's a pain in the ass to move. This enables very similar quality, really, on a $200 printer level. Sure. Or less, really, yep. which is really cool. Is there anything coming out with Hue Forge that you want to tell the folks at home? Because this stuff is really cool. Links are in that description, of course, as well. So the big thing coming in the Hue Forge software is we're moving into what we call color aware. Color okay. aware is where um, it, you have more control over where your layers are, your heights are based on the color of the image because no lithophane software cares about the color. No. And um, when I started doing the color lithophanes, I thought, oh, I need to worry about the color. But everyone does luminance and I got really great results with luminance. So I just went down that path. But now that we have more people using it and more people doing new things, the color aware is really kind of important. So we're moving that way in the software. And then hardware wise, we're trying to make testing for the TD, your yeah. transmission distance of your filament a lot easier. That's kind of what's coming up next. That's awesome. And you guys have a pretty cool tool here hanging out to show that transmission distance as well. That's correct. Yeah. And I think it's this guy over here, Mr. Ajax, who's responsible for it. That is, that's correct. Yeah, so I started uh, just uh, testing what could be done with hardware to test TD. Cause you know, we originally started out with uh, the big swatches that take like 45 minutes to print um, and it was too slow. So then we moved on to these, these little step tests um, right here that go into a light box. And uh, you just test with a backlight to see how much light gets through the filament. 
And the next step up was to go fully digital with it and just use a single strand of filament so you don't have to print anything to be able to test it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's still still kind of like in development. Um, color's not quite there yet. Uh, it was kind yeah, of it, secondary for us anyways. It pulls a hex code and a TD value, which yep. is pretty cool. It's a little OLED screen, which yep, I'd like. Yep, a little OLED. All open source? So all the hardware is open source, um, but the software that I'm writing, uh, I, so I call it semi-open source um, yeah. because I'm charging like five to five to fifteen dollars for the license if you want to self-source everything. Um, but I'll also sell it as a kit where you can buy because there's two custom PCBs in there as well if you don't want to do wiring um, to where it's just headers so they all snap together that's when nice. you put that's it together. Nice. Yeah. Um, and so that's an option as well where you can do the kit where they'll probably be between like thirty five and forty five dollars for a kit. And then you can buy them complete like that for somewhere between $65 and $75. That's really affordable. Yeah. Price is subject to change. Correct. Price is subject to change, always. <laughs> yep. That is really awesome. If you want to do some cool art, like what you see on the table here with Hugh Forge, this is one of the machines to make that easier. So guys, take a look at this as well. We'll link to it in the description. Steven Ajax, thank you both so much for this because this is so cool. So one thing we kind of only brushed over for a second about that when Steve was talking is this will connect directly to Hue Forge as well. Okay. To where this data can be pulled. So when you stick a filament in and you already have Hue Forge open, it will automatically open the, the window to add a new filament to your library. No kidding. And pull that data in. And so you just have to put the manufacturer name and the and the filament okay. name. Hey, how many of us have a lot of filament that, you know, <laughs> I have a lot more than I used now to. Now I'm blaming you for this. Because <laughs> when a lot of people get Hue Forge, they get, I need all this new filament, right? Yeah. yeah. And Polymaker is selling Hue Forge specific packs of filament as well. We'll link to them down below as well. Steve, is there anything else you want to uh, mention? Anything new coming up? I don't think so. It's been a really exciting show. Uh, people have been great and really interested in Hue Forge, and um, I just love supporting the community and we'll just keep looking for what's coming next in Hue Forge. Is this your first time ever doing a booth? This is the first time ever doing a booth. You got a really nice booth. Thank you. And that's the cool thing. This stuff is some of the easiest stuff to pack and carry. This is yeah. one box worth of parts, really. <laughs> yeah, it is. Because they're all really thin. Yeah. And also, I appreciate that you turned some sort of QR code there. Oh, that one is as well. That's a polymer. Yeah. I was hoping one of them would be a Rickroll, because that's that's what I would do. <laughs> I absolutely love this. I know I need to do more Hue Forge up. I've seen Austin or Zombie Hedgehog, as uh -huh. a lot of you guys know him, or Hedgehog makes that does Hue Forge all the time, actually interviewed you, Steve, yep. as well. And guys, if you want us to interview Steve on our podcast, let us know in those comments below. Just let us know, what would you make with Hue Forge? Because I'm looking for some ideas. Maybe we'll uh, make some stuff and send it out to people just for fun. But continued coverage coming at you right after this. Stay tuned. over at the Polymaker booth here with my friend, Nick. We are gonna be talking all about crazy colors of crazy filament. Nick, there is, um, there's a lot of scientists here on the bit, table. Yeah. <laughs> How many colors are, are represented here? I think we have 350 scientists, if I remember well. That is a lot of scientists. Nick. Different That's, colors, different um, materials, yeah. And something that I noticed, this is a really cool thing. Uh -huh. On the bottom of every one of them is an NFC tag. Yes, there is. And there's an NFC reader that shows you what the color is and what it does. Yes. That is so cool. And it's a little QR code as well, so you can scan it, go to the website, right? Exactly. And Dude. we also have a feature designer for each of the scientists. Honestly, that's brilliant. Whoever came up with that deserves a raise. Community. Community came up with the it, they all deserve community. a raise. Polymaker, you guys know them, you love them. If you don't, check them out in the description down below. Polymaker is known for not only making some amazing filament in apparently well over 300 colors and <laughs> quite a few materials, but they're also huge as community supporters. We talked to Hue Forge earlier and you guys saw that a lot of us got Hue Forge because of the awesome things that you guys did by partnering with them and yes. giving out effectively free filament if you supported Hue Forge, something that likely helped that project keep going and keep actually happening. I hope so. And when I see them here showing off all this awesomeness, yeah. it makes me so amazed. So I'm very happy that they are here showing off this incredible software. And you even have some Hue Forge stuff uh, available as well that you're showing off. And so the cool thing is you guys only see Nick and I, but Hue Forge is 
right over there. This is what the community is about, man. It's bringing people together, making really cool stuff. What yes. are some of the new stuff coming out from Polymaker? What, what, what do the folks at home need to know about? Okay, so the latest one was our Polysonic, mm -hmm. so the high flow. Yeah, the high flow. Going with the high speed wave. Uh, the next one was uh, actually these one are not released yet. These I don't ones know if here? I should talk about it on video, but uh, let's just talk Coming about soon. it. Coming let's soon. Just talk. Just to start, let, let's just say these CM1 are related to Hugh Forge and Lisa Pan. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> CMYK. Yeah, 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 something. And then we have this one uh, that are the neon PLA that Very are nice. kind of matching the neon PLA for ABS. For some reason, the custom printer community, they always want the brightest color for their printer. They do. They always ask, do you have some pop yeah. color, some neon colors? Can I get always some want brighter, brighter, brighter. Yep. So we released all of this uh, in, uh, in ABS. And then the PLA community is like, oh, we want also this in our PLA. There we launched the yeah. PLA Neon. Look at this freaking neon orange though. Wow, that's... It is amazing. That is very spicy. That's so bright. And for those that don't know, we have an upcoming Voron Trident build that is all printed in Polymaker filament. Oh, so that is nice. coming up. I made the very poor decision of choosing five colors. Nobody <laughs> told me that I was supposed to just choose two. <laughs> The base and the accent. You went with multiple accents, that's fine. <laughs> I, I went with five. Uh, and so we just kind of said, screw it. We're just going to make a bunch of different colors and have fun. <laughs> but that that stream is coming soon. So make sure you get subscribed because we're going to be building a Voron live on the channel, a Trident 300, sponsored by LDO and, of course, Polymaker to make that happen. So, Nick, thank you for that. Thank you but, for building it. Yeah, yeah, we're showing up scientists, uh, the uh, the three even models mm -hmm. for the miniatures. Uh, do you remember the Kickstarter for the yep. tabletop? Yep. Yeah, that's that's showing off the table. The pack for the Hugh Forge, the Halloween pack. Have you seen the Halloween pack? I haven't seen the Halloween pack. Let's yeah, look, it's pretty let's cool. Let's take a look at it. So basically what we do is we have Easter, Halloween, and Christmas. Yeah. And three months before the festival, what we do is we get together with the community. We decide what's going to be our custom spool design. And then we choose what filament we're going to release. And then we just work on it. And it's totally exclusive, which means we will never release these again, ever again. That's a nice color. And there's a purple, it looks like. And we also yeah. design custom models. What do you think of our models? Oh man, those are pretty. And this one even glows in the dark. Yeah, I noticed pretty the cool glow. I like that. The, uh, the, kind of somewhat color shifting glow. Those, yes. Those are yes. pretty. They those are, are pretty. I, I I like these these little color packs because mm. it lets you mess around with new colors for new reasons. You I know, we have the custom colors. custom spool for creators, right? Yeah. You yep. see that? Are you interested in uh, any of it or like a grand spool or? We'll have to talk. <laughs> we'll have to talk. And then the Hugh Forge, but I guess you saw way more amazing oh, man, Hugh Forge there. <laughs> Hugh Forge is awesome, but one of the big reasons Hugh Forge is as popular as it is because not only is Polymaker supported Hugh Forge, but they've also developed an ecosystem that fits with Hue Forge. Colors that are designed for it. I'm sure you guys are working together to get the Pantones and you know the different color densities right. Yeah. That's collaboration that we need in this community. Yes, 100% agree. It's by partnering together that we're gonna grow our industry. That's the only agree. way that we grow. Nick, you guys got an awesome booth here. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing it off. And there you guys have it, Hue Forge and Polymaker. Some of the brightest displays at the East Coast Rep Rep Festival. I hope you all are enjoying the coverage. We changed things around from last year. We're doing a lot more smaller videos, so you guys can kind of pick and choose what you would like to watch. Some really awesome things that are coming up, including my fight against Jeff from 3D Gloop. Yeah, they 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 have a big robot, and uh, Florida man here went after him. Give it all you got. <laughs> <laughs> But let us know in those comments below, what would you make with Hue Forge and what's your favorite color from Polymaker? Because honestly, that is one of the coolest displays for colors that I have ever seen. What a cool idea to use. NFC tags and then a dedicated screen. Super, super cool. And if you guys do want us to interview Steven from Hue Forge, let me know because we can definitely make that happen on an upcoming live stream where we not only talk all about Hue Forge, but what it's like to enter into a pretty interesting partnership with Polymaker. And that's how a lot of us got Hue Forge, which is super, super cool. But yeah, let me know what you would like to make with Hue Forge and Polymaker in those comments below. And I do want to give a massive thank you to all of our supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Thank you for all that you all do to make these videos possible. Remember, if you want to support the efforts here on the channel, you can do so by joining 
PayPal, Patreon, or YouTube channel members. Links, of course, down below where they always will be. But that is all I have for you guys today. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Have a good one. Let's yes, it is. It is the Halloween pack. We were just <laughs> talking about that. Thanks, Flockspring. <laughs>